I became intrigued about what flags were actually on the lunar surface while I was working on my India flag episode, so I thought I would look into this further. Problem is, there didn't appear to be a straightforward answer. Therefore, this episode covers my findings and my interpretation of the term flag to come up with the following. Firstly, I've taken the term flag to mean the symbol of a country flag as opposed to just a cloth woven material of a flag. You'll see what I mean. Let's get going. In descending chronological order, we start with the most recent, China. Chang'e 3 planned landing on the 14th of December 2013 resulted in the display of the flag appearing on the surface. However, China also managed to be the second country after the USA to plant a proper flag on the 1st of December 2020 with the landing of Chang'e 5. Japan arrived 11 years earlier. This time they had no intention of landing, but there were issues which brought the something down in a controlled landing on the 10th of June 2009. Less than a year before, India's accidental arrival onto the list in Chandrayaan-1 was orbiting the moon when, on the 14th of November 2008, the team had to make an unscheduled control landing due to technical failures and resulted in the Indian flag, as displayed on the side of the probe, now firmly giving its place in history. Might surprise some people, but the second flag to arrive on the moon is the more commonly known infamous arrival of America on the 20th of July 1969, with a certain Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin planting what everyone would describe as a proper flag of the United States. This is the only entry into this list where people went with the flag. All others were unmanned. Sadly, however, this was blown down by the Eagle Lunar Module leaving the surface. Five more US flags were added in the early 1970s. We conclude, surprisingly enough, with the Soviet Union, who managed to get a version of their flag onto the moon's surface via Luna 2 on the 13th of September 1959. These two titanium alloy pentagonal pennants were deployed and have the Soviet emblem and the sacrilic letters CCCP. I know not technically flags, but clear evidence that the USSR space program were there way before anyone else. And that's my list. Feel free to agree or disagree with my findings, or let me know if there are any surprises in there. I would love to read your comments below. Otherwise, for more down-to-earth flags, click on the playlist here.